Hearty welcome to each one of you, my dear friends, for this Holy Eucharist of Love. We shall pray today in a very special way, people who are undergoing a lot of sufferings, struggles, tensions, anxieties, worries, and depression. We ask our dear Lord to come to their aid and free them from every tension worry and depression. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures. Let us ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have deliberately sinned. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my, my words, in what, in what I have I done, done, what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my, my most grievous faults. And therefore, therefore I ask, bless Mary, a virgin, all, All the angels and saints, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Today, is the memoria of St. John Damascene, priest and doctor of the Church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may be helped by the prayers of the priest St. John Damascene, so that the true faith which he excelled in teaching may always be our light and our strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Prophet Isaiah, chapter 30, verses 19 to 21, and from 23 to 26. Thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, People of Zion, you will live in Jerusalem and weep no more. He will be gracious to you when he hears your cry. When he hears, he will answer. When the Lord has given you the bread of suffering and the water of distress, he who is your teacher will hide no longer. 
and you will see your teacher with your own eyes whether you turn to your right or left your ears will hear these words behind you this is the way follow it he will send rain for the seed you sow in the ground and the bread that the ground provides will be rich and nourishing your cattle will graze that day in wide pastures oxen and donkeys that till the ground will eat a salted fodder a winnowed with a shawl and folk on every lofty mountain on every high hill there will be streams and water courses on the day of the great slaughter when the strongholds fall then moonlight will be bright as sunlight and sunlight itself be seven times brighter like the light of seven days in one on the day the lord dresses the wound of his people and heals the bruises his blows have left the word of the lord thanks be to god a responsorial psalm happy are all who hope in the lord happy are all who hope in the lord praise the lord for he is good sing to our god for he is loving to him our praise is due the lord builds up jerusalem and brings back israel's exiles your response happy are all who hope in the lord he heals the broken hearted he binds up all their wounds he fixes the number of the stars he calls each one by its name your response happy are all who hope in the lord our lord is great and almighty his wisdom can never be measured the lord raises the lowly he humbles the wicked to the dust your response happy are all who hope in the lord gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia seek the lord while he is still to be found call to him while he is still near alleluia the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory to you o god jesus made a tour through all the towns and villages teaching in their synagogues proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing all kinds of diseases and sicknesses and when he saw the crowds he felt sorry for them because they were harassed and dejected like sheep without a shepherd then he said to his disciples the harvest is rich but the laborers are few so ask the lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest he summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits with power to cast them out and to cure all kinds of diseases and sickness these 12 jesus sent out instructing them as follows go rather to the lost sheep of the house of israel and as you go proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is close at hand cure the sick raise the dead cleanse the lepers and cast out devils you receive without charge give without charge the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ
dear brothers and sisters. When the people of Israel did not obey the commands of God, they gradually distanced themselves from God and even distanced themselves from each other. And the enemy had a power over them because they were away from the authority and power of God. And as a result, the devil snatched them and put them to suffering, that is the exile the Israelites underwent a lot of exilic experiences, sufferings, slavery, and lot of agony. But God here through Isaiah is promising, O people of Zion, there will be peace in Jerusalem. There will be lot of harvest the grains that you sow will grow in plenty. Your animals will have plenty to eat and drink and so much more you yourselves. The Lord will dress your wounds. He will heal you. He will revive you. And in the Gospel reading, Jesus is showing compassion to the people. Having preached in the synagogues and in the places of worship, Jesus, when he comes out from the place of worship, he is in his practical work with the people. He could see on the faces of the people that they were dejected and harassed. He feels for them and he tells his disciples, see you pray to the Lord of the harvest because here there is a lot of work. Pray that the Lord may send laborers and laborers in plenty because there is work in plenty. And what is the type of work, my dear friends, in our religious life and in the other secular congregations? Every founder had a vision knowing the need of the times. And the whole congregation works towards that particular goal. Maybe educating the poor children, maybe attending to the destitutes, going to the streets to pick up orphans and rag pickers, taking up cause for the poor and those who are marginalized. There are different, different types of causes. Jesus prepares the disciples in this manner. Go, he says, to the house of Israel. You know those people. You know what they are undergoing. Go to them. Proclaim the good news to them that the time is come close. Prepare yourselves. He says, go and heal those who are sick. Cast out demons, devils. Lay your hands and heal them. I give you power and authority my dear brothers and sisters. This is the season of Advent for us today. To feel for the other, to fall in compassion, and in return, give to the poor, the needy, and open the door for them to walk in a different way in life. Help the weak, Help the sick, cure them, and above all, attend to the least in the society. That is the work, the labor that we need to do. 
And Jesus, when he feels compassion for the people, this is it. Look at the world around us. Today, we are caught up in the electronic gadgets. Due to this pandemic, we are buried inside. We do not know what is happening. Let us get out of our minds to reach out to them. Let us keep our gadgets away. Go and help people who need us. Go and attend to them. This is the hour that we need to reach out to them. Show them that our God is a God of plentiful mercy, plentiful in compassion, and abounding in love. Let us show this to one another and ask the Lord that we may reach out to the ends of the earth with this message so that we are well prepared for Christmas to welcome him. Amen. Bread and wine we bring to you, Lord, work of our human hands, soon to become your body and blood, Jesus yourself. May all who share this meal divine be one. Humbly we bring ourselves to you, Lord. Take our hearts, take our wills. All that we have and all that we do, we give to you. Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks to our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. We will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Your people come in back.
Let us pray to Mary, our Mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual. Let us place into the hands of our Lord, through the intercession of our dear Mother, all people who are sick, suffering, those who are harassed and dejected, the lost sheep of Israel. We ask our dear Mother to intercede for us and ask the Lord, to bring healing upon this whole world, especially from this deadly pandemic and all its variants which are affecting people in the world. Dear Lord, heal us and heal our families and bring peace, joy and happiness during this Christmas. My dear friends, today we have 6 o'clock healing adoration. Please do attend. It's a retreat in adoration for the families. And during the time of Advent, it will bring a lot of consolation and healing to individuals. Do share the link with others. Every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have a retreat for half an hour from 6 to 6.30 for families and for anyone who wants to attend. We are also organizing carol singing competition, so please do the registrations as early as possible. Monday we begin the videography program. Those of you who wish to join, please contact me and register your name. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. May you have a wonderful weekend, my dear friends. The hour has struck for your saving. Rejoice, redemption is nigh. The time appointed has come. The kingdom of God is approaching. Lift up your head. The hour of hope is at hand. The hour has struck for your saving. Rejoice, redemption is nigh. The time appointed has come. For today you are called by your Savior, listen to Him.